All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to hour number three of the Steve Malsberg Show. And uh, sit back and enjoy this because for the next two segments, we have live in studio Joel Rosenberg. And of course, uh, multiple times a New York Times bestselling author. And he's got a great new one out. It's called The Third Target. And we have it up there on the uh, big screen. There it is, the third target. Welcome, sir. Great hey, to, good to see, see you. Good to see you, Steve. How are you? Uh, it, it's always uh, great to talk to you, and it's, it's a pleasure to, to have you in studio. Yeah, it's great to be uh, here. And, and, you know, I said to you off the air, so I'll say it on the air, and I'm, I'm not blowing smoke by any means. You're such an important voice, mm -hmm. and you're such a, 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 an important friend of Israel. Mm -hmm. And so many, so many, um, so many um, people are, are too selective in, 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 my in the Jewish community as to, as to who their friends are. And so, but every friend of Israel, I think, is very important, especially at this time. What do you see happening, uh, before we get to your book, and we're going to have plenty of time to do that, what do you see happening with the Middle East, with ISIS, with Israel, with the pending agreement that Obama is sure to sign with Iran? What, 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 where are we headed? Steve, I think that 2015 could be one of the most dangerous years in the Middle East. You know, we pray not. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, whether we're Jewish, even juggles, whatever. But look at what, what's emerging. You've got genocidal conditions emerging in Syria uh, with more than 200,000 dead. The, uh, some experts are now saying it could be 280,000 dead at this point. 76,000 killed just in 2014, the highest number in the entire civil war. Uh, and that's largely due to the Islamic State. Uh, then you've got Iraq, where you had f more than 15,000 murdered uh, in 2014. A and you've got ISIS uh, really moving systematically through towns and villages, slaughtering or enslaving, in, in some cases with the little girls, sex slavery, uh, whole towns, villages, Muslims, Christians. What they're coming after is the United States and Israel. But they're also coming off after uh, other Arab countries they're trying to bring down the governments of two. So that's just ISIS, okay? And uh, Israel just captured an ISIS cell in the West Bank uh, just a few days ago. Then there's Iran, which is actually the larger strategic threat. Uh, none of the negotiations seem to be serious, I mean, in my view, be because, because Iran, they want to build the bomb. And they're trying to drag out these negotiations as long as possible. And we've got two pr years more of President Obama, who does not seem to be willing to be decisive on either issue neutralizing the Iranian nuclear threat or neutralizing ISIS. So despite the new Congress uh, being, you know, in the hands of the Republicans, Obama still controls right. the reins of foreign policy. As pro-Israel as the Congress is, it's still, it's still Obama when push comes to shove. Right. And, and, and you talk about, um, first of all, I think very important, the ISIS cell in, uh, in, in the West Bank. Uh, did you say the West Bank or was yeah, it? it was yeah, in Hebron. Uh, actually, yeah, right. so, so talk about the threat that ISIS poses to Israel, because we don't normally talk about or hear about that. Right. Well, ISIS is, uh, you know, of course, trying to build an Islamic state, a caliphate, right? And I've written about these in my books, but it, it is not fiction. This is reality. Uh, they, they're trying to get Syria. They're trying to get Iraq. Uh, but eventually, what do they want? They want Jerusalem. Any radical Islamic uh, leader, jihadist, right. wants to control Jerusalem. And that's where they're heading. And so they're going to come from every direction. Um, What's, what's stunning is, is the complacency of President Obama and the Obama team. Uh, the president, you know, a year ago in January, told the New Yorker, it's ISIS is a JV team. Right, right. And you thought, wow, I was in the middle of writing this novel, uh, The Third Target, and I'm thinking, JV? I mean, these people are beheading people. They're crucifying people. But at that point, you could still make a case that it wasn't as big a story as, as by summer, of 2014, where ISIS took over 45% of grew. Iraq. Yeah. So, but but by August, uh, President Obama was launching airstrikes and saying we are facing genocidal conditions. But it's all half measures, and and, and you know you've got General Jack Keane and others saying, if you're if you're going to do a serious military strike and to to decimate ISIS. You wouldn't be running it this way. Oh, no, no, no. He's going against his military advisors. But he, Israel is the ultimate. I think the United the, States is the ultimate target. Right. But Israel the is more the near-term target. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Obama cares? I mean, do you think, let me phrase it this yeah. way. Is, does Obama dislike Israel? Does Obama favor the Muslim Brotherhood over Israel, perhaps? There's no question that the relationship between Israel and the United States under President Obama ha ha has worsened. Now, but it's complicated. And, I, it, it, and so... 
President Obama's trying to divide Jerusalem. President Obama wants to roll Israel back to the pre-1967 yeah. borders, which were not defensible. And the policy of the United States through every generation has been defensible borders. Right. That being said, in a strange twist of fate, the president does seem to be supporting the Iron Dome rocket defense program right. and others. So it's a complicated mix, and I, I'm not sure I can fully discern his objective, which means that Israelis are very nervous that the president does not have uh, the back of Israel. And when we come back, uh, we'll talk quickly about the uh, Israeli elections and what role uh, Obama might be playing in that already. Uh, and also the buck, the third target. It's straight ahead. More with Joel Rosenberg. Don't go away.